If we learned anything in 2022, it's that solely relying on one booking platform can be a disaster for your short-term rental business. We had properties on both Verbo and our direct booking website, but our occupancy percentage took a big hit after each one of Airbnb's algorithm updates. This year, we'll still be focusing on keeping our Airbnb rankings high, but we'll also be putting a lot of attention into our website, our social media channels, and our marketing strategy. All in hopes that in 2023, we see a big upswing in bookings on our website. At the start of 2022, we had a very simple goal, drive more traffic to our website. Which we did, and in 2022, our direct bookings accounted for about 10% of our total bookings, whereas in 2021, it was about 4%. But this year, we're really dialing down and we're focusing on SMART goals. So specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. That was hard to remember. All in hopes of 3xing our number of direct bookings this year. We'll be sharing these goals with you today for our own accountability, but also for you to maybe spark some ideas of new ideas to implement in your short-term rental business. And if you don't have a direct booking website up and running yet, don't worry, just keep watching because there are some steps that you can start taking today to grow your email list for when you put up that site in the future. And if you keep watching, we'll show you how. Goal number one, in 2023, we will send out a weekly newsletter to a segmented group of potential guests on our email list. We've sent out newsletters in the past and they've been well received, but the issue that we think we're facing is that we're speaking to two different groups, both hosts and guests. Our email list has grown a bit from this channel and people opting in to receive some free downloads like our sample inventory and also with potential guests or past guests that have signed up for discount codes and other things via our website. And our previous newsletters contained a mix of content that was relevant to both of those groups. We'd leave links to our YouTube videos, which is hosting related content. And then we'd have our guest related content, which was like local travel guides and last minute availability deals for certain properties. The problem we think is that by speaking to both groups, we were really kind of speaking to no one. Especially when like that week's YouTube video that we were promoting had to do with pricing strategies for your short term rental. And that could be a little off putting for a potential guest to say like, here's how we're trying to make more money or squeeze more money out of you. Thankfully, we use Flowdesk uh, for email collection on our website. And the nice thing about that is we're able to segment our email list depending on where on our website that opt-in happened. So for example, hosts who signed up for our sample inventory could be segmented away from guests who signed up on our home screen pop-in for 10% off their first booking. Being able to segment out potential guests and then deliver newsletters and contents that speak directly to them is something that we're going to focus on specifically in 2023. Goal number two, in 2023, we will place two easily visible and strategically placed QR codes in each of our managed properties. We're still working out the exact details on how we're going to do this. The general gist is that each QR code is going to lead to our website and have some kind of value proposition in exchange for email collection. We're thinking simple is best here. So one of our ideas was maybe to put a QR code on the fridge that said something like, don't feel like cooking tonight. And then that code would lead to either a blog post that we've done about our favorite takeout in the city. Or we could turn that blog post into a downloadable PDF and then create an opt-in page on our website where we collect emails. There's so many ways that you could spin this and adapt it to your own short-term rental business. And the key here is just thinking, what sort of value can I give the guest in exchange for an email address. Being able to create beautiful and functional opt-in pages is one of our favorite features about Flowdesk. And you can even start creating one or two or 10 of these opt-in landing pages before you even have your direct booking website up and running. It's good to have a strategy, but you also don't have to have everything like pre-planned and perfect. You just have to have the mindset that you need to go out and do it. Goal number three, in 2023, we will digitize every house manual for email collection. Currently, we're only offering guests a hard copy of our house manual and this is printed and in a binder left at the house. But we think this is a missed opportunity to get guests onto our website before they visit the property. We do get some website traffic by sharing blog posts with them with relevant local area information, but we think we can just take it to the next level by offering a digital welcome guide. The plan is that after booking, guests will be given a link to a Flowdesk opt-in page. Sensing a pattern here. We should just call this video how we're increasing our email collection in 2023. So if we create those landing pages in exchange for that welcome guide, we'll collect your email address. Another thing that we like about Flowdesk is that after they've completed that opt-in, they can be redirected to the website of your choice. So 
Sometimes we'll do our direct booking website, we could do our social media, whatever you want. And if they're directed to our website, they see that we do take direct bookings and that they could probably save 15% on, on fees uh, by booking direct next time. And again, there's a value add for the guest as well. So in this welcome guide, they'll be able to see information about the house, what they will and won't need to pack for their trip, local area information, some of our favorite places, things to do, all that. Goal number four, in 2023, we will create targeted landing pages for our properties using Flowdesk. At this point, you're probably waiting for us to say, this video is sponsored by Flowdesk. It's not, but they have given us a code that you can use for 50% off your first year of Flowdesk membership so that you can start growing your email list today and increase your direct bookings in 2023 through smart email marketing. And we'll leave a link for that in the description below. So let's talk about these targeted landing pages. In a similar way to the opt-in pages, the kind of value proposition we talked about before, the landing pages will be like super specific, kind of niche down to some feature of that property. And then we'll turn those landing pages into Pinterest pins or maybe Facebook or Google ads. That's a lot of information. So we'll give you an example. We have a property that is perfect for people who love tennis. It's in a gated community with access to tennis courts and pickleball courts. And we get a lot of people who come to use those facilities. It's also pretty close to where they have this big tennis tournament every spring. So using Flowdesk, we created a page that highlights the property and the tennis and paints a picture of a weekend getaway filled with all things tennis. It also includes guest reviews that mention the tennis courts, photos of the courts, and then towards the bottom, there's a book now button that links directly to the main listing page on our website. And that landing page will get pinned on Pinterest and potentially Facebook or Google ads like Stephen mentioned. And then hopefully a tennis lover sees the Pinterest pin or clicks, clicks the link on an ad and that turns into a direct booking. Match made in heaven. Goal number five is a little more broad than the rest, but in 2023, we will be shifting the focus of our social media strategy from look at our properties to see yourself at our properties. In the past, Reels have had photos of properties with trending audio, but this year we'll be focusing on using high quality video instead. And we'll also be including more local things to do type content versus just pushing the different properties over and over. The idea is to generate some intrigue and then you guessed it, have guests click the link, goes to our direct booking website. And hopefully sign up for our email list. We'd love to hear how your direct booking experience has been, what you might be trying to do to improve that. Leave us your favorite tip in the comments below. Or let us know if you plan to implement some of the strategies that we shared today in your marketing efforts in 2023. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.